to, to that, but in my own life, um, looking back on it, it was pretty interesting that I love kindergarten and I love graduate school, and then there were 16 <laughs> years in between <laughs> that, uh, you know, where I, I, I had to make time in order to learn because the learning, official learning systems were not very good at it. But, the, but I was incredibly fortunate as a child because I learned how to read fluently before I ever got to school. And so I already knew they were lying to me in first grade. <laughs> and that's, most kids don't have that advantage, right? Yes. You're hoping, let's do a couple more. Yes. Uh, you began with uh, Watson's book and the book that they both think it had anything to do with what I invented. Well, you're wrong. You I, I do understand McLuhan. I'm not sure you do. No, I'm not using anybody. Yes, you are. Here's, here, I'll tell you, uh, just to, I'll tell you. I don't want to summarize, I'll summarize my own argument, which is <laughs> that the thing that seemed important to me is that um, there are two parts of it, to it. One is that, um, as a as a person who is a science, basically trained in science um, and mathematics, the there was a special thing that the computer could argue better than conventional media. It led to a new way of arguing about things. It led to a new way of knowing about things. And the, we knew that the making it pervasive would set it up as an environment that could be learned pervasively and it could have these long-term effects that the printing press had. So I think that's just pure McLuhanism and that's what the aim is. Yes. <laughs> 